To add a user, you first want to make sure that you're under the Users tab in the Restaurant Manager. Then all you need to do is click Add User, enter a username, normally just their first name is fine. Before you enter their password and their PIN, you can decide if you want them to be an employee user type or a manager user type. So the difference is that a manager user type will be able to log into the restaurant manager from a website. So they'll have almost the exact same access that you have as an admin. If they are going to be a manager user type, they'll need to have a username that's unique across all Lightspeed customers on their server. So you might need to add mm, an initial of their second name, for example, to their username. Otherwise, if it's an employee user type, the username only needs to be unique in your account. So normally the first name is fine. And then you can decide if you want them to log in with a password or a PIN. Um, so either of them are fine. It just depends on which you prefer. If you do decide that you would like them to log in with a PIN, let's just say their PIN is going to be like that. Um, you do still need to put something as the password so that they can't log in without a password. So normally what I recommend, at least for the employee user types, is to just enter in the PIN as the password as well. So I basically just repeated the PIN three times. If it's a manager user type, you'll need to enter in a more secure password just because they do have access to log into the restaurant manager. Then you have some optional information that you can fill out. This is not required by Lightspeed unless you have specific fiscal requirements. You can also select a default floor or a default table for a specific user. Um, you can change the image here, or you can go choose file and upload your own photo or icon image. And then it's very important to click on edit roles and then choose their position. So if you don't do this, their user will only be able to clock in and clock out. So I'm going to select Maria to be a bartender. I'm going to select save and then OK. And that's how you add a user.